pilot training is not easy and neither it is cheap by any means. It costs lakhs of rupees to be trained as a pilot and the pilot aspirant is carrying the load of uncertainty throughout the train. Am I good enough to be a pilot? When will I get a job in an airline? How will I pay the loan that I have borrowed for the training? Questions and self-doubts like this is a burden that each aspiring pilot has carried at some point of time during their training. But the ones that make it to the airline cockpit are the ones that fight through that noise keeping a clear sight on the goal. Hello winged souls, welcome aboard my channel. I am winged engineer, a commercial pilot training under an airline in India. In today's topic, we are going to discuss the cost of pilot training and relevance with the salaries of an airline pilot. Oftentimes I get asked, is it really worth becoming a pilot? After spending so much money on pilot training, let alone earning from it, will I be able to recover the money that I have spent? We are going to take a different approach to explain this topic. I might get into a bit of financial numbers, but hey, money is a real thing. So why not dive deep into this topic? Before we get started, quick disclaimer, all the costs mentioned in this video are approximate values assumed by me. What I am going to show you now was my cute little pilot training proposal that I used when I spoke about pilot training with my father. Let's consider pilot training as a project, a project of building career as a pilot. Now, the primary point that we need to consider while assessing the viability of a project are in short, how much money we spend on the project and how much money we earn out of it. Does it make sense financially? So, on side A, we will have the cost of pilot training and on the side B, we will have the lifetime earnings of an airline pilot. He pointed mistakes in it, I corrected for those mistakes and then somehow he agreed. So his inputs are also a part of this presentation that I am gonna show you all. Let's start with the cost on side A. As we discussed in the last video about cost of pilot training, these are the costs associated with pilot training all the way to airline cockpit. Cost of medicals, rupees 10,000. Cost of DCA ground school, around 2 to 3 lakh rupees. Cost of DCA exams is rupees 10,000. Flight training, 40 lakh to 1.2 CR. Type rating, around 15 to 20 lakh rupees. Airline training, 10 to 15 lakh rupees. Accommodation, 5 to 7 lakh rupees. Transportation, 2 to 3 lakh rupees. Visa would be around 15,000 rupees. Documentation would be around 20,000 rupees. Miscellaneous depends on your lifestyle. So the total cost of pilot training, if you do it from the credit pilot program, it would be around 1.2 CR, which is on the higher side. And the conventional pathway would cost you around 70 lakh rupees. Now, let's assume that I am taking a loan of 50% of 1.2 crore at interest of around 9% for 12 years. I went an extra mile and calculated EMIs for the 10 year of loan. Here we go. I know you all want to get the part of the salaries, but hang on with me for a minute. It's important to know the calculation to plan in advance. For credit pilot program, self-finance amount 60 lakh rupees, principal loan amount 60 lakh rupees, interest for 12 years would be 39 lakh rupees total loan repayment would be 99 lakh rupees let's round it up to one crore for better understanding for conventional pathway self-finance cost amount would be 35 lakh rupees principal loan amount would be 35 lakh rupees interest for 12 years would be 22.3 lakh rupees total loan repayment would be 57.4 lakh rupees let's round it up to 60 lakh for better understanding so the total cost spent towards training in CPP over a period of 12 years is 1.6 crore rupees and for the conventional pilot program over a period of 12 years would be 93 lakh rupees. I would love to apply inflation to it but let's not cause we can't predict the exact rate of it. Next we have is the returns. The return on investment if we speak of it in financial language. This might not be the only reason to become a pilot, but one can't deny that this is one of the most important reasons why pilot career is so much aspired for. Before we start the earnings of an airline pilot, let me give you a disclaimer that these are the average salaries of airlines in India. Pilot salaries keep on varying depending on the aviation industry status at that time. Let's get started with the second part of this video, that is the side B. Assuming an aspiring pilot starts pilot training at the age of 23 like I did, it takes about 2 years for pilot training and then approximately 2-3 to three years to get recruited and for the salary to start. Let's talk about pilot career progression and remuneration alongside. 
At the age of 28, you find yourself walking into an airline cockpit as a released junior first officer. The life that you dreamed about all this while during your pilot training is reality at this point. And also, it's the first time a pilot starts making money from their commercial pilot license. Salary as a junior first officer is around 1 lakh rupees plus overtime. Usually after 6 months, trainee first officer gets promoted to first officer. So the pilot is about 29 years old at this time. Salary of an airline first officer is around 2.5 lakh rupees plus overtime. As the pilot continues to fill up his or her logbook with the hours and experience, passes DEC exams and gets an airline transport pilot license which is ATPL, the pilot gets promoted as senior first officer and yet again the next salary hike is due. Salary of a senior first officer is about 3.5 lakhs. Senior first officer is a relatively short phase and airlines usually have shortage of experienced pilots meaning captains. If the senior first officer is good at his or her studies shortly after the airline requirement for command training is met, the pilots gets to near ultimate goal of his or her career revision and that goal is being a captain on a jetliner. As command checks are passed on successful completion of command training, the dream of that 23 year old becomes reality. At this point, the pilot can proudly put captain before his or her name, wear four bars on the shoulder and as ultimate authority in the aircraft during its operation. Before I get carried away with daydreaming, let me get back on track. This video is about money. So yeah, at this point, the salary of airline captain is about 7.5 lakh rupees plus overtime. Money, money, money. At this point, the pilot has proven his, her abilities to the aviation world. He is knowledgeable, skilled, proficient to command the respective aircraft and in true sense, financially stable. On an average, becoming a captain in an A320 or Boeing 737 takes about 4 to 5 years from release, meaning at that time you will be around 31 years old. Now let's talk about the lifetime earnings as an airline pilot. Pilots in non-government airlines work until the age of 65. Afterward, pilots can continue as trainers or check instructors on simulator but cannot fly passengers commercially. Let's assume the pilot chooses to work another 5 years as a check instructor. So here's the total salary at each step of pilot career. Total salary as a GFO is 28 is 1 lakh rupees into 6 months overtime that's 6 lakhs rupees plus overtime. At the age 29 you are a first officer 2.5 lakh rupees 18 months that would be around 45 lakh rupees plus overtime. At the age of 30 you are senior first officer that is 3.5 lakh salary and 8 months that is 28 lakh rupees plus overtime. Age of 31 you are an airline captain 7.5 lakh rupees plus overtime plus bonuses until the age of 65. Now drum rolls for lifetime earnings of an airline pilot who started working at the age of 28 that is 32 crore rupees. To bring that to a perspective average lifetime earnings of an engineer in India having 12 lakhs per annum income is 3.8 crores pilot end up making almost 10 times of what a well-educated salaried employee makes. Going back to the investment of 1.6 crore, it's a 2000% returns over a period of 30 years. And that is assuming the salaries remain to be same for the next 30 years. Turns out it's not a bad investment at all. As they say, an investment in knowledge and skills pays the best interest it's true in many ways but then you might ask what about the training cost what about possibility of losing medicals or the license for some reason and honestly i strongly believe that everything in life is a risk and ability to succeed in life depends on how well we make it a calculated risk and the measures we take in order to minimize it we wouldn't be flying right now if Wright brothers had not taken the risk of piloting the first airplane in the world. How much of the risk a person can sleep peacefully with is a metric on which he or she should make a decision for themselves. Please don't misconstrue this video as a provocation to become a pilot. That was not the idea of this. What we talked about in this video was what on an average a pilot makes in his or her lifetime. This is not a financial advice or anything like it. This was my cute little presentation to my father on which he finally agreed to let me change my career stream from engineering to becoming a winged soul after I cleared my cadet pilot selection process. 
I asked for his permission after 12 but after my engineering as I presented this he took his time but he agreed whether you should or should not become a pilot is your decision to make depending upon your circumstances I strongly recommend not forcing parents your parents certainly wish a great future for you but at the same time as a wise offspring we must understand that the parents might have limitation on how much they can spend on our education i would have had the same level of gratitude towards my parent even if they would have not agreed to support my pilot training my job was to provide you information and enlighten you about the perspective that i looked at it from and i hope i was able to do that so there you have it if you like this video please tell youtube that you liked it by clicking the like button you can subscribe to my channel and become a part of this wing journey mentioned links are in the description i am eager to see you in the next one bye bye